right, let's see if these units are anything too crazy, if they're going to be must summon, all that stuff you guys already know. Keep in mind, we are going to be getting one of these units for free. So, you know, ideally, you're only going for two of the units, right? Uh, but depending on how good they are, you might want to get some stars on them. Keep in mind, we also have the universal SSR shards, so where we can, you know, LR awaken our units if we want to. But let's just, uh, let's let's see what they're cooking, right? So starting off, as you know, he is going to be a blue type unit, a debuffer at that. Um, it's going to be single target damage, inflicts X percent action, decrease debuff on enemies, which is nice. Uh, skill number two is going to be AOB damage, inflicts level X attack power, decrease debuff on enemies for X amount of turns. Keep in mind, it's attack power, so I don't think it's going to be magic attack. It's going to be focused on physical attack. Also, I said it would have specified all attack. Um, unless I'm wrong and they just worded it weird, but I think this is going to be physical attack power. And then when it comes to the ultimate, it inflicts a powerful wind blade um, to all enemies, so AoE. Inflicts level X neutralized debuff on all enemies for X amount of turns. And then inflicts concentrated attack debuff on a target for X amount of turns. Okay, um... So far, it's not anything too crazy. He is going to be a debuffer, but we'll have to see how he is in action. Because if you guys know, debuffers run this game for the most part. Lotus is being like the number one debuffer. In fact, probably the number one unit in the game right now. Just in terms of like overall versatility and stuff. So uh, we don't know his passive, unfortunately. And then when it comes to the partner skill, inflict level X defense decrease debuff on enemies for all turn or for all enemies for X amount of turns. And then attacks after removing enemies' immortality. Alright, so it seems like they're really trying to get rid of Leaked here with his partner skill. Because there's no other unit in the game, as far as I know, that has immortality besides Leaked. So, I guess he could be kind of good. I mean, Leaked is kind of being ran a lot in PvP, especially with Ryan nowadays. So, um, how good is this partner skill? Nothing too crazy because there's only one unit in the game, like I said, that has immortality. Maybe as more units get immortality, then this could be really, really good. But for now, there's nothing too crazy. But I do like the whole defense decrease debuff on all enemies. So if you want to, you can do some crazy, crazy, you know, one taps. Uh, combo skill we don't know. And then the green more training skill applies X percent critical damage increase buff effect itself for X amount of turns for each debuff of the specified target. So depending on how many debuffs your enemy has, they're going to be getting a X% percent crit damage increase. Very nice. Very, very nice. I actually like the Grimoire skill. I like that a lot, actually. That's really good. Uh, let's move on to the homie, or the girl, I'm sorry, Noelle. So she is going to be a support type unit. We don't know the typing, but I'm just, I think if I remember correctly, it is blue. Could be wrong. Um, also, keep in mind, you guys, they could change this unit's kit at any time before they come out. So we will know probably in about... Wow, 12 hours actually. We might actually know what the units can do in 12 hours. So yeah, keep in mind, alright? But when it comes to Noel, she's going to be a support type unit, like I said. If you have a barrier, attack after applying the level X weapon enhancement strengthening effect. And then if you have Blessing of Water, attacks after applying the level X weapon enhancement strengthening effect. So overall, she is going to be a buffer for the level X weapon enhancement. So very, very nice. When it comes to the second skill, however, it grants X% percent of magic attack, water protection to a designated ally for X amount of turns. Very nice. And then it grants barrier to all allies except for the designated one by X% percent of magic attack for X amount of turns. I just confused myself on what that said. Wait, let me read that again. Grants barrier to all allies except for the designated one by magic attack by X% percent of magic attack for X amount of turns. Wait. This is good. If I'm thinking about this correctly, this is extremely good. Oh my god. Wait. So she's gaining, she's giving a barrier to all allies except for the one that got the magic attack increase. I'm assuming from this, right? So let's just, oh my god. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. So let's just say, right, you're, because right now, uh, I'm going to be basing it off my Rodas. My Rodas currently has around 21,000 you know, magic attack, and he's done, and he's giving around to, or he's giving around 44, or 45,000 barrier to all allies, including himself. If, okay, let's just say you give, oh my god, this is so broken. Let's just say you give, you apply this to a unit with insane magic attack power, let's just say, for example, leaked, right? Leaked is a unit based off of magic attack. You apply this magic attack increase to your allies, or to him, and then this procs off, you could be getting the highest barrier in the game. Potentially. 
Her and Ra her and um not Raya, but her and Radis is gonna be insane. I'm calling it right now. Oh my gosh, you're never gonna be able to kill off any single unit in the game. <laughs> what is this unit? Okay, and then when it comes to the third part of her second skill, gives all allies X percent increased damage dealt for X amount of turns. What is this unit? What is this unit? She is like, oh my gosh. And then when it comes to the special, right? Attacks after applying level X magic and power increase buff effects itself for X amount of turns. Um, I'm assuming that's going to be single target. It doesn't specify. It could be AoE. I'm not too sure. But this second skill is insane. How is this not an ultimate? I'm so genuinely shocked. This second skill is actually insane. Passive increase horsepower. I think this is meant to be attack or magic attack power, not horsepower. <laughs> uh, and then when it comes to the awakening passive, X percent damage reduction. Wow, that's crazy good. I'm liking her a lot more than you know, unfortunately. What? All right, let's look at the partner skill. So if you have buffing effect, apply X percent damage increase buffing effect before attacking. Very nice. Combo skill we don't know yet, and then when it comes to the green more strengthening skill, right, when it comes to the green more strengthening skill, if an ally has a barrier, X percent of magic recovery effect is applied. Huh? Wait, she's healing as well. That's so good. She is actually insane. And then the passive is when attacked, X percent of X percent chance of applying barrier of damage taken for X amount of turns. What? I love this unit, man. I, I think I'm gonna get her. I think I'm gonna get her. She's so good. Her and her Grimoire is actually insanely good. It's so built for her kit. I love it. I absolutely love it. Alright, let's move on to Gauch. I think out of all three, Gauch is supposed to be the one that's gonna be the best, apparently, okay? So, he is a support type unit. He's also blue typing as well. Keep in mind, you know is already blue and Gauch is already blue, which means Noel potentially blue as well. But we'll, <laughs> we'll see. First skill is fires a beam of sunlight from a mirror. It's going to be single target. Grants level X defense increase buff effect to all allies with HP less than X percent for X amount of turns. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of it because he does have an HP restriction. I think if you get rid of this, this would have been really, really good. But then again, this is a skill number one, so it's understandable. Um, skill number two is going to be reflect the warm sunlight to an ally, giving a buff to the designated ally. Grants level X all attack power increase buff to all allies for X amount of turns. Or to, I'm sorry, to allies for X amount of turns. Grants level X penetration increase buff effect to all allies for X amount of turns with X percent chance. Uh, grants intense sunshine buff to allies for X amount of turns. Crazy good. Um, so he's going to be definitely, you want to pair him up with a nuker for sure. <laughs> Possibly maybe leaked. I'm not too sure I'm saying leaked because all these units are blue and I feel like leaked is gonna be like just one tapping units left and right uh, Special is gonna be okay. Grants buff to all allies Consumes X amount of your current HP to grant X percent toughness buff to all allies for X amount of turns. Wait, what? So you're decreasing your own HP to grant a toughness buff to all allies for X amount of turns Interesting, okay uh, grants level X accuracy increase buff to all allies and then grants continuous damage block to all allies. Okay. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of this ultimate because I feel like, like the second skill is all attack focus, right? This is kind of more, I don't want to say defense related because it's not really, but continuous damage block, there's nothing too crazy. Um, accuracy can be good because then your your opponents aren't going to block as much and then toughness that's more of like a defense related stat i feel like this should all it could have been all crit damage crit rate um and then if you want to you can do accuracy i feel like that would have been insanely good because it seems like he's more of a of a dps support type unit especially with that second skill but i mean i guess not it, he's looking okay he's looking okay so far at least on paper um, but let's see, maybe, maybe I could be wrong about him. And then when it comes to the passive, recover, recovery by X percent of max HP when the beneficial effect on you ends. Ooh, okay. Okay, so I wasn't the biggest fan of him consuming his own HP, but then the passive allows him to recover X percent of max HP. Not bad. Okay, so that kind of makes up for it. So really, this is just like a free buff. This is just a free buff. So this is not bad at all, actually. And then the Awakening Passive is X% damage reduction when health is below X%. 
Um, okay, so he's kind of giving a buff for like all over, like all aspects, like defense, um, attack, you know, continuous damage block. So overall, he is going to be a versatile support type unit, which is really, really good for all kind of content. Um, yeah, he's not bad, actually. He's actually not bad. But then let's look at what his stuff can do. So partner skill, lower X critical rate increase. Okay, there we go. I was looking for that. And then grants X percent action power increase buff to your partner with the X percent chance. Interesting. I like it. Um, and then the green more strengthening skill grants remove X continuous damage effect to all allies when landing a critical hit. Um, so, okay, not bad. And then the passive is at the beginning of the wave, X percent chance to apply immunity to continuous damage for X amount of turns. If immunity to continuous damage is not applied, immunity to poison. Okay, uh, that's a little weird. I'm not gonna lie, the Grimoire passive is kind of weird. Um, when it comes to poison units, there's only like three, I think, right? Which is Rodis, I think, Solid, and then what's the third one? I think there's one more unit that can do poison, but yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of the whole Grimoire, to be honest with you guys. I think you can skip it, low key. Uh, but overall his main kit, right? I like it. It's not bad It, it kind of does a little bit of everything which is not bad at all But I don't think this is gonna be a unit that I mean you can okay You can take him into PvP because the second skill is actually really really good So it's the ultimate as well, but then I just don't like the whole continuous damage block and Toughness I feel like it should have been critical rate. I think that would have been extremely better Dude, oh my gosh imagine if he consumed, you know X percent of his own HP to grant critical rate increase or crit damage. Oh my god, that would have been insanely busted. So yeah, I feel like that would have been a lot better. But to be honest, out of all three, I think Noel just catches my eye, my attention the most. Because, you know, this whole barrier situation thing is actually low-key insane. It's actually low-key insane. Keep in mind, if you pair it with like Rodis, you you're gonna have like over a hundred K barrier. I kid you not, you're probably gonna have over a 100k barrier. This is insane. She is actually insane, and like her Grimoire as well is like plays a huge role into her kit. So this is extremely good. I like it, man. I like it, I like it, I like it. Um Yeah, this is really good. This is actually really, really good. Unfortunately, I, like out of all three, I'm probably gonna put Noel number one, Gauch number two. Honestly, Noel and Gauch can be tied for number one, but I think I do like Noel's kit personally just a little bit more. So I'm gonna put Noel number one, Gosh number two, and then you know number three. Unfortunately, he is probably the worst out of the three. So you know, honestly, if you get Noel or Gosh from your Gateway of Destiny, you're only going for one more unit. Unless you want to get all three. Obviously, the goal is to get all three, but yeah, I think Gosh can be contender for number one. So both of them, okay, I'm gonna put both of them number one, and then this is gonna be number two slash number three. But yeah, both of them are really, really good. But if we're looking at the whole kit, including their Grimoire, I do think Noel is better than Gauch because his Grimoire is really nothing too crazy. Um, I'm thinking it from both PvE and PvP standpoint. I think Noel just plays the both PvP and PvE role just way better than um, the two of them. So yeah, I'm gonna leave it there. Let me know, what do y'all think of these units? I think they're extremely good. I think they're gonna be crazy, crazy cracked, especially Gauch and Noel. Um, you know I'm gonna have to test them out on paper or actually in person, so we will see about that, but Yeah, I'm actually excited dude. Season 2 banner should be dropping tomorrow. Live stream is gonna be happening later tonight I'm not sure if I'm live streaming. I will let y'all know last minute like I always do, but yeah, I'm in it there Y'all take care of a good one and Yeah, season 2 hype man. It is here. It is here. All right. Peace